mic check one two it's the y2k collector and i am sorting through all of my controllers um as i uh do a little bit of sorting through the game collection and i'm interested to know of all the controllers that are out there right now which controller do you all find to be the most uh i guess comfortable um there's so many um ranging from the wii to the dreamcast to the playstation and there's like a whole host of different controllers that we have out there but i'm interested to know which controller you think is the best and i'll i'll just jump out there and i'll just say to me one of the most comfortable controllers of all time is going to be the playstation controller and i would say that includes everything all the way from the playstation 1 going all the way up even into the playstation 4 because even though they made minor adjustments to the playstation 4 controller it still has a good chunk of the form factor that the one through three had but i feel like the playstation controller was the most comfortable controller to use because just the form factor it, it wasn't extremely bulky um but it wasn't too small either it wasn't so small that a person with a large hand wouldn't be able to utilize the controller to play a wide range of games now obviously and like to well not obviously but to me a controller becomes more important depending on the game that you're playing if you're playing a slow turn-based rpg then to me it doesn't really matter the type of controller that you're using because at that point you know the controller you, you don't need to have like any quick reflexes with anything like that you're not you know pushing any buttons in rapid succession you're probably just, you know, going a very slow pace, tapping the buttons as the prompts come on the screen, you know, nothing too crazy. Now, if you're playing like a fighting game or like an action game, I think that's when like button placement and controller size really come into play. So I guess it just depends on the game that you're playing. But again, for like action games, um, fighting games, games that require a lot of just like button pressing to me the playstation is probably going to be the most comfortable controller and probably the controller controller that's the most easy to use now to me the second runner up when it comes to controllers and a lot of you might laugh when you hear me say this but i personally feel like the super nintendo controller is probably the second most comfortable controller out there. Um, whoa, that was a Neo Geo controller. Don't drop your Neo Geo controller. Don't be like me. Um, but yeah, so I think that the Super Nintendo, in my opinion, is the next most comfortable controller. Um, again, it's a very simple controller. There's not a ton of buttons on it. Um, but it's very effective and it gets the job done. I feel like the Super Nintendo controller for how simple it is, <clears throat> it's ex it's comfortable. Um, again, kind of like the PlayStation uh, controller, it's not too big, it's not too small, and um, it definitely lets you get the job done. Now, the third controller, in my opinion, the third most comfortable controller is going to be the xbox controller or any controller that kind of has this xbox um style now i feel like they have made a ton of controllers that kind of mimic the xbox format a good example of that would be like the wii u controller um you know it's not exactly like the xbox controller but it does kind of favor the xbox controller in some ways has the dual analog sticks x y a b and such so I feel like the Wii U did a good job in mimicking that, but I feel like that would probably be the next best, most comfortable controller, just because it does, you know, that controller does work better if you if you have like a larger hand. Um, <clears throat> the button placement is pretty decent. Um, the analog positioning is pretty decent. And then, you know, you have your right and left, and then, you know, your ZR, Z, Z left, 
these buttons are placed pretty well. So I feel like this has a really, it's a pretty good, pretty good spot in the list of comfortable controllers. So I would definitely put that controller in the, or, or, or any controller that has that form factor, I would definitely comfortably put that in third place. Um, the fourth most comfortable controller to me is going to be the GameCube controller. Um, I know this controller is a little bit on the smaller side, I think, at least for me, it, it feels like it's a little bit more so on the smaller side and not necessarily the WaveBird controller, but just GameCube controllers in general. I feel like the GameCube controller was like kind of easy to hold. I think what throws a lot of people off with the GameCube controller is how like childish it looks with like the large A button, the small B, the way the X and the Y are positioned. And then it has like this yellow C stick which I guess is a secondary analog stick, but just the way they made this, it doesn't quite feel like a true analog stick the way um, the left analog stick is. So it, I think it just depends on who you ask. But to me, the fourth most comfortable controller would be the GameCube controller. And then coming out at number five, right after it, is gonna be the N64. Um, now I know there's gonna be a lot of controversy on this, but to me, the N64, uh, controller is surprisingly comfortable. Um, it's surprisingly comfortable. And the, the thing that I like about the N64 controller is that you can adjust how you hold the controller depending on the game that you play. There's more than one way that you can hold an N64 controller, which I think is a little unique to other systems. Like, yes, obviously, you know, you can position a controller any way you want, but when you have these three handles here, there's multiple ways that you can you know, control an N64 controller depending on whatever game you're playing. So I think that having that feature there is definitely going to be a great option. Now, here's a controller that not a lot of people have had the chance to use, but um, it is a pretty cool controller. And that is the Neo Geo CD controller. Now, this isn't like a an original Neo Geo controller. This is kind of like a this is one that came with the Neo Geo Mini, um, but it it is almost a, identical to an original Neo Geo controller. The only difference between this controller and a genuine Neo Geo controller is that on a genuine Neo Geo controller, like an OEM one, this analog stick has the clickiness. And I can show you an example of what that is by just showing you a Neo Geo controller. So I actually have an original Neo Geo controller here. And as you can see or hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but it has that clickiness to it when you move the controller around. So that's what really, I think, makes the Neo Geo controller great, just having that clickiness. I wish um, they made the, the remade one with that type of clickiness, but I guess they were too cheap to add it in there. I'm actually gonna set this to the side because I do wanna get some Neo Geo action in later on today. So I do plan on playing my Neo Geo Mini. But that definitely is one of the um, comfortable controllers. I would put that in sixth place. And there's a number of other controllers that I could talk about, but the last controller that I will rank is the Sega Genesis controller. Now the Sega Genesis controller is not the most comfortable controller. Um, it's really not, um, especially the three button controller. It's big, it's bulky. Um, it wasn't easy to play fighting games with this controller. Um, this is not my favorite controller. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. Um, but this is the one of the most nostalgic controllers for me. So I love the Sega Genesis controller just for like nostalgia reasons, but it's not a comfortable controller. Um, the Sega Saturn controller isn't much better, but it, it, they do improve on the form factor somewhat. It's not as bulky and you do get um, eight, uh, what is it? Yeah, you get eight buttons on this one because you get the uh, ABC, XYZ, and then you do have the right and the left control left button, which there's not a ton of Sega Saturn games that you would kind of really need this for. But when you think about games like Hyper Duel and stuff like that, um, or even games like, um, I'm trying to think of some of the Saturn games. Like there's a lot of import games that make really good use of all the buttons on the Saturn controller. So that's where that comes into play. I think Guardian Heroes is one of the games that makes good, good use of the controller. But um, the Sega controllers aren't really super comfortable, but they'll get the job done. They'll get the job. And the same could be said for the Dreamcast controller. Like the Dreamcast controller is cool, but it's really not like 
it's really not comfortable to be honest with you like i love the dreamcast it's one of my favorite systems i love playing marvel versus capcom 2 here but doing air combos on this controller was a nightmare the best thing about this controller though was the vmu i don't know why i have two vmus in this controller but this little vmu thing was cool i need to replace the batteries on the ones that i have but this is how i used to trade um my marvel versus capcom characters when i was in high school we would take my vmu and trade i would build up the the money because in in the in the when you play capcom 2 in the dreamcast you have like the the store where you buy characters um but you earn points by like playing the game or going into training mode so a number of ways that you could get points and stuff and another great way to use the vmu also with sonic um there was a way that you could use the vmu with sonic adventure i just can't remember right now but these are uh, all the controllers that i'm working with i got a box of controllers and i got a box of cords that i got to sort out here and then in these two boxes are like manuals and posters and pamphlets and stickers and stuff like that so but let me know which controllers are the most comfortable for you down in the comments and i'll catch you in the next video so y2k collector take it easy